So now in this video we're going to use the light dependent resistor again. This time we're going to use an op amp in the non-inverting comparator circuit and we're going to use the LM358 op amp. But in any case right now it's bright enough that the red LED is lit up. I'll turn the lamp. Lamp is at its brightest setting. Turn it down one, two notches and there you can see that the blue LED lights up and it will stay lit up if we get uh, darker and uh, as long as it's darker than what we set uh, voltage wise the blue LED will light up but now that it's brighter the red LED will light up so now we're gonna turn it down and uh, turn it up one notch and we can adjust the trim pot now to change the uh, sensitivity so we want it to turn red uh, right at this level so I'm gonna go down and uh, there we go just a notch and it went uh, uh, red and for some reason it uh, kind of senses when I'm nearby even if I'm not blocking light so there we go we have uh, this light level go down one and there we go we got blue and of course if we go darker it will go blue so we have an adjustable light level where the output is going to change uh, between high and low and zooming in to the schematic diagram we see the circuit that we got here so the uh, op amp wired as a comparator compares the voltages at the two inputs and we have the light dependent resistor on the non inverting the plus side and the fixed resistor is also to the non inverting it's just making a voltage divider then we have a trim pot where we can adjust the voltage to whatever we want so we're just kind of adjusting it based on what we see at light levels. So when the non-inverting input is higher because enough light is falling on the light dependent resistor, the output goes high. So it doesn't quite get five volts, but uh, as close to five volts as it can. When the voltage to the non-inverting input is lower than the inverting input, then you get a low output. And uh, that's why it's a non-inverting. The uh, relationship of the non-inverting matches the uh, output when it comes to the uh, inverting higher high and then uh, lower low so in any case uh, I used this uh, diagram before I used a 10 kilo ohm resistor now I'm using 47 kilo ohms just because that's the value I grabbed I thought that would work out uh, pretty well with uh, these light levels and another thing to notice I always look carefully where the plus and minus is on the schematic there so non inverting inverting because with this particular op amp you can see the non inverting is below the inverting whereas it's the opposite on the schematic so I always pay close attention to that and here we got the physical circuit so we got the positive supply to a pin 8 and then a negative supply to pin 4 right there those are supply pins and then our non inverting as we said before is the uh, lower one that's the plus so there is our 47 kilo ohms. You can see the yellow for four going uh, to ground. So that's uh, pin four is uh, ground and the light dependent resistor to the positive side of the supply. And there you can see if I darken it, uh, the light will change. So should be able to see that uh, second pin down comes to the jumper to our trim pot voltage divider. And so it can go up to five volts or down to zero volts. And the inputs of the op amp just look at the voltages going to them. They do not uh, let current in or out other than a very small amount of trickle. But uh, it's such a little amount of trickle it doesn't really matter. It's, it's practically none. And then there you can see the output is the top pin for this integrated circuit. 220 ohm resistor coming to the red LED. Uh, long lead anode, short lead cathode uh, to ground. It's lit up right now because the output's high. It's as close to the positive supply as it can get, but since it's a single supply op amp, it's gonna drop down a volt or so. And then uh, we got the blue LED. So when that is lit up, there you can see, that's because we got a 1000 ohm resistor. Blue LEDs are just brighter with less current. Uh, 1000 ohm resistor coming to long lead anode, short lead the cathode coming to the output. So you can see positive up there, which means that the current is headed to ground. And uh, it does get to ground pretty good uh, with single supply op amps. Uh, so that's another reason why the blue LED is brighter. But in any case, that's it to this circuit. Uh, pretty uh, basic circuit and a pretty common one. Uh, so hope you enjoyed. 
Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.